Hey everyone, it's me, Chris, from Body Nova Fitness Coaching. And we're going to talk about um, lifting light weights versus lifting heavy weights to build muscle. Okay, and you can do both. Some people, they, they choose one or the other. Um, as when I work with clients, especially those starting out, I like to have them do, I like them to be exposed to both because um, each one has certain benefits that helps you with the other. If you stick only to one camp and never venture into the other for a little bit, there's there's potential gains you're leaving out on the table, okay? And you know, for me, my clients, you know, anyone that I talk to, I'm trying to push them, put them in the position where they can suck up all the gains. So let's get into, of course, with heavy lifting, okay? The normal, and I'm gonna say heavy, um, and I'm. As I say, the six to twelve reps. Okay, in the, in the research, that is the classic suggested rep range to build muscle. All right. Um, when I use it with clients, I'll usually break that up because I periodize. I don't stick with the same. I don't say, okay, I'm going to lift for six to eight, and everything is six to eight. No, it's going to be ten to twelve for a bit, and and you know it may be uh, eight to ten, and then six to eight, and then you know you can flip that around. Okay, that's periodization, plan changes in training to help you accomplish your goals. Now, um, those are heavier weights, heavier. Um, uh, rest periods can be short, but usually they're going to be moderate to long. So, um, if it, let's just say if it took you, uh, let's say if it took you 20 seconds, most people don't take, don't lift. Uh, their set doesn't last more than 20 seconds. So it takes you 20 seconds to do a set. Maybe uh, you're set uh, a minute to 80 seconds, you know, um, to rest, okay? So that's average. You can cut that shorter, but then you're gonna run into a deal with your performance. Now, um, when you use lighter weights, those short rest periods become more important because the light weights, you're not going to recruit a lot of muscle tissue at first because that's what heavyweights do. The heavyweights send signals to the brain saying, oh, shh, we got we to gotta recruit more muscle to lift this heavy ass weight, right? All right. So with lighter weights, that's not the case. But so you want to keep the rest period short. Okay. So as you keep the rest period short, those fibers, you know, are going to fatigue and they're not going to be able to contribute. So then, you know, you're going to recruit more muscle to do the job and then more muscle and more muscle if you perform this right, if you do this right, okay? If you're using the lighter weights, this is where that pump becomes more important because as you, you know, if you get your pre, intra, post-workout nutrition lined up properly, you're, you're, you're properly fueled and uh, things like that, what happened, you know, and, and creatine also helps with this too. You know, you're getting a little more swelling of the cell. So you're forcing those those uh, muscle cells basically to get create more damage and um, forcing the need for it to grow. Okay, that's a different type of hypertrophy they call sarcoplasmic, you know. Um, but you want um, you want to make sure that you're taking care of that because that's going to give you an advantage with this. So people who are doing pump reps and things like that, really high rep stuff, that is that would be the strategy for you. But those short rest periods are everything because if your rest periods are long, the blood can circulate away from the muscle. Okay, this might be an also an option where you would want to be warm. You want to be warm. So you see some of the old school guys, they're wearing all their sweatshirts and, and baggy clothing and, and stuff like that. And even though it's a de of decent temperature, that could be why. Okay, because if they if they cool down, you know, cooling increases circulation. What happens? You, got a, got, uh, you hit your knee, you sprain an ankle, you put ice on it. What happens? The swelling goes down because there's circulation. Same thing goes with this. So they try to stay warm so there's not as much um, circulation. You know, and then, um, you know, with those pumps so they can get bigger pumps, okay? But anyway, um, lightweights versus heavyweights, I really believe that you should do both. I used to program it for people who, who had a lot of stuff to get done in a short, short 
period of time, I used to do a lot of uh, undu undulating periodization. And what that is, is back and forth. So I could say, all right, your rep range could be 12 to 15 one week, and then the next week it could be 6 to 8. Okay, so you can do the, the pump reps or the light weights, you know, one week with short rest, and others you could do heavier, and you can undulate or rotate back and forth between the two, and that'd be a good problem. The other thing with lifting with lighter weights is your calorie count should need to go up. Your cal you know, um, your calorie count should go up because you're now performing more work. So um, I just want to say though a few things about light lifting versus heavy lifting. Um, for building muscle or getting those gains, um, like I said, I really believe you have to venture into both because just even if you, you're heavier lifting, you get stronger from that. If you can lift heavier weights when you do light lifting, you know, you're going to break down, you're going to break down more muscle. Okay. You're going to cause more fatigue. So they complement each other. And that's what training is supposed to do. It's supposed to complement each other in a way that gets you towards your goals.